the internet, it can be so mean, is making Lizzo want to quit music. So, and I love Lizzo. Last week, Lizzo performed a fantastic tribute to Tina Turner at her concert. She was so good. And somebody wrote, somebody wrote, how is Lizzo still this fat when she's constantly moving this much on stage? I wonder what she must be eating. And Lizzo reposted it. She read it and she reposted it and she added, just logged on, and this is the type of bleep I see about me on a daily basis. It's really starting to make me hate the world. She went on and tweeted, the love definitely do not outweigh the hate on social media, all because I'm fat. Y'all don't know how close I be to giving up on everyone and quitting and enjoying my money and my man on a bleeping farm. This is, I, I, I feel really bad that Lizzo felt this way because she had done so well uh, doing Tina Turner. I would say to you, you know, Lizzo is so talented. This is the bad side of the social media. This is the toxic side of the social media that when you put yourself out there, uh, you will get all kinds of comments. Um, not everybody likes you. Not everybody wants to see you do well. There's a lot of people who don't. Um, for me, because I've gotten to this age, anybody who makes the bad comments about me, this is where I got to go, you don't pay my bills. <laughs> you... When, I'm, when I wake up at 2 in the morning worrying about my son, I don't get a phone call from you. Literally, the bad comments are a non-factor in my life because I don't like to give that energy. And I would say... And that's because I've got... It, it's been a place to get here. Because a lot of times we tend to focus on... It'll be a hundred people that love us, and we focus on that one person with their arms shut. I do it. I'm a stand-up comic. It happens. But what I would say to Lizzo is, Lizzo, don't post this kind of stuff, because there are things that you have to tell your therapist, you tell your friends. You remember, John, when I would get bad stuff on social media, I would send it to you so that you could help me share the burden mm -hmm. of the bad stuff. Because when you put it out, then people start knowing what your triggers are. And then you get more people you get more people, which gives them power. And I would say, don't, don't, you know, don't give them that kind of power in your life. Because here's the thing, Lizzo, those people wish they could be you or do what you're doing. They wish. But because they can't, the only thing, the only thing they can say about you is that you're fat. That's the only thing. They can't get on you for your singing. They can't get on you for performing amazingly on that flute that you know how to play. Lizzo, all they can do is the superficial. You gotta know, girl, the calling that God gave you. You are inspiring an entire group of women. And I would say, Lizzo, please don't let the few people who are jealous of you steal your joy. It is not because you, you, you know, Lizzo, my God, you've done so much. You've won awards. You've gotten an Emmy for it, self-love. You can, you've gotten platinum albums. Girl, this is always, always Lizzo. If you are watching this, niece, I always have to say, there are always people who want to be you, but they don't have the courage to do what you do. That separates you from the other people. My best friend, Niecy Nash, always said to me, she always said, the enemy's resume says, kill, steal, and destroy. It's on the resume. So you gotta know, the calling that was given to you, because you do have a calling. When God gives you a calling, there will be people that come in to try to take that calling away. You're at a new level. So, girl, if ain't nobody told you today, Lizzo, you are special. You are special. I don't have no jokes, but it's always somebody that's sitting in the basement at their mama's house. <laughs> sitting on an air mattress, they ain't got no pillow for the daggone pillow. Want to type in with three fingers and no side teeth. Want to tell you who you are. When I tell you, Lizzo, you got, you are successful. You just got your man, girl. All you need to do, the best revenge is to laugh and have a good orgasm, girl. That's, you better go.
on my soapbox today. I'm telling, don't mess with none of my nieces. Auntie comes for you, all right? Mm -hmm.